Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, we have a guest. This is... Hey, uh, Ryan. Ryan. This is my fiance. Do you not, wanna... I don't really know what I'm doing in a floss tube. Well, we'll get to your bit in a minute, but I was just going to say, do you want to do a little bit of an introduction? I'd, what would I introduce? How old are you? 20, 21. 21. 22. 22 yeah, so I'm still confused. When do you start stitching? Last week. Last week. <laughs> week before, maybe. <laughs> And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We are going to be going over, I've got some notes, so we're just going to kind of go over what we've been working on, um, some goals for the next month and like just some new bits and pieces that we might have because I kind of did a bit of spending when I got paid. A little bit of spending. Just a little bit, just a little I bit. I think I did the least amount of spending. I think you did as well. Mm. But I, I bought you some stuff, so. I don't know where that aid has gone. We need to find we'll it. We'll have to find that. So, first thing, um, I'm going to go through what I've been working on first and then I'm going to kind of move into my new bits. So, first thing that I've been working on, I'm going to get the big one out of the way first. Um, this is, you don't need to move. This is Wonderful World Map. Uh, I was working on this one last night. Um, I'm just going to hold her up. So, here she is. So here she is. I haven't done that many stitches on her, maybe a couple of hundred extra, but we're starting to make our way down through the sky and I'm pretty excited because I feel like like pretty soon I should get to a compass on it. So what do you think about this this piece? I've not really asked you I think about it's that. certainly a lot of blue. It is minute. so far. Are you excited to see it when it's done? Yeah, I'm waiting to see what you... Are you going to add any little flair to it? Or are you just I stick don't think so. Off? I'm going to stick to the pattern because it's no perfect. Quirky, no quirky cross stitch here. Not on this one. I might do on some other pieces, no but not that one, definitely. So I've done a couple of hundred extra stitches on that one. And it's actually come from my whip go. A little bit of a spoiler for what I'm going to talk about later. But it's in my whip go for next month. So February. So that's quite exciting. I should get some progress done on it. Um, next one that I've been working on is Piccadilly Circus. So here's what she's looking like at the minute. I don't know what she looked like last time you guys saw, but I've been working on this on and off, like on an evening. Um, I'm pretty sure, I haven't actually marked it down, but I'm pretty sure I'm about 30% of the way through on it. You might have to consult Pattern Keeper I'm for that consult one. Pattern Keeper. I don't have Pattern Keeper at the minute. Well, you you will get it for the next one that you do. Yeah, I get it for the next one. I, I have my my box. <laughs> you found Pattern Keeper? I found Pattern Keeper. So, just Wonderful World Map, <laughs> currently on 3,017 stitches and 0.16% uh, of the way through. Um, I'm like nearly done the diagonal, like I would say I'm over halfway done. So that should be my goal to finish that before the end of January, which is like tomorrow. So I might work on that this evening. Um, and then Piccadilly Circus, oh, close. I've done 16,448 stitches. It's 29.82%. That's very so, I uh, nearly, but I don't want to. I don't want to say it's thirty percent. But like, I started adding some blues in with the sign, and I just um, there. So up here, I've started adding some blues in, and I think it's going to look really pretty. I didn't actually realise there was blues up there, so oh, there I'm very excited for that. I have two clothes. <laughs> Do you want to show yours? No. Go on, you show yours before I carry on. Do you want to talk about it? Because I don't. I don't know the technical terms. So I'll hold it. This is Ryan's piece. Uh, you bought it from Etsy, didn't you? I did. Uh, bear with me. I put it into the box. It's Sea Otters by Rachel Fifth. So, there we go. So, Ryan bought it as a kit. So, it came with all the uh, thread and everything, the floss. And you've been enjoying it, haven't you? Yeah, I'm very excited for my next one, though. Yeah? Do you want to wait and do... Uh, that it, in your February I'm going to say if I tell you the thing you want to see the, you want to put up a picture of it. I will, I will. I'll we'll do, the, we'll add that in the February goals. So, add it in post. Yes. So Ryan has, I would say, 
You're about halfway through that otter because you've done the whole outline, but you've got to fill them in still. Yeah, and then I've got to do black lines around them. Yeah, so you've got to do back stitching. don't know what that is. It's the black lines around it. I don't know how to do that. Um, so yeah, he's been working on this like in the evening. Like you'll play any games for a bit and then he'll work on this. So this is only like a couple of evenings worth of work. But like, look how neat his stitches are. My stitches aren't even that neat. And oh, I've been doing this do for back like... back to back comparison. What? The back of mine versus the back of yours, right? Yeah, but you've got a lot more colours and changes. I'm very embarrassed about my backs. I've said on here before that I would never show my backs, but because Ryan wants me to, I will. I'm going to show you back if you... No, 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 it's okay. Oh, no. So this is not the neatest back, I will admit. But look at Ryan's back. Yes, very pretty. I'm going to have a cross stitch dispute. Look at mine. <laughs> look at the difference. I think when you add more colours, it'll get a bit more hectic because there's a lot of confetti in this piece. But like, I need to do something about my backs because I don't think they're meant to be that messy. I have two colours in mine. So I far. Think six in total. Well, yeah, but your next one. Oh, I was going to say your next one will have more. My next one literally has six. Oh, I've just pinged off your needle. There you go. Pinged me needle for. So, next piece that I've been working on. Um. I did bring this down, I'm not sure where it's gone. There it is. So, this is a piece by Witchy Stitcher. Um, there's been people doing the cryptid sale that she did and, spoiler alert, I got that for Rai, that's in his future plans. Um, but, but this is, I think it's called Valoween Spirits? I believe so. Give I believe look it so. Up. No, I'll put, if I've got that wrong, I'll put like a little text thing. But I bought this to, uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna stitch it up, and then depending on the size, I'm either gonna put it in a little frame, or I'm going to put it on a little card for you for Halloween. Oh, uh, for Halloween. Make, make it an old bookmark. For Valentine's Day. I think it'll be a bit big for a bookmark. Not like a if big I did book. it, I, they came with like three different patterns like three different colors so what i might do is do you a different colorway on a high account so that you can make it into a bookmark so it'll be smaller then okay yeah 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 plan so this is this is it so far this is my first time working on a oh it's not even focusing on it this is my first time working on one of their patterns and i'm really enjoying it like a lot um, I'm not using the cold for colours exactly. Um, I brought them down to show you. So for Christmas, I've put stickers all over the top of it. But for Christmas, my cousin bought um, me these. These are just uh, embroidery threads, I embroidery so. flosses. Um, I don't think they've got a brand. They don't say a brand on them. But the numbers like on them kind of line up with DMC. So I've been using them as closely as I can. But I've just been wanting to get some use out of them because most of my like projects are kits, like they come as kits with the threads. So I've just been trying to get some use out of these. So I've been using these for the Valoween Spirit and I think that it looks pretty good so far. Like I'm pretty happy with it. Focus. Obviously it's not exactly perfect to what the picture <coughs> is, but you know, I really like it and you like it. I well. like it. So that's the point. Um, yeah, so I've worked on that for like a couple of evenings, but yeah. not very much really, like maybe only, a couple hours. Two, I think. Yeah, and it wasn't much. No. So, very, very, very much enjoying that. I'm enjoying these. Mad props for magnifying goggle things. Yeah, Rai, Rai has, um, you, you, you meant to wear glasses, right? But uh, our daughter broke his glasses like the first week yeah literally the first week of getting them so, so was... he's he hasn't got glasses at the minute um so he bought these on amazon yeah yeah you want to show them so they're like little you, i think you can wear them as glasses as well i lost the arms i don't know where they went <laughs> okay so we're stuck to wearing them as goggles uh and they have a little light i'm not going to shine it there we go thanks a light it's very bright and then they've got this little clippy thing that comes down that you can stick lenses in. Lenses. Because what shape are my eyes? You like to tell everyone? Ryan has rugby ball shaped eyes. He's got astigmatism. There we go. Does, does that pick up on camera? Does this look? 
Is it the desired illusion? I think so. We'll have to zoom in on you and edit in. Don't look like bubbles from the trailer park boys. You do to oh. me. <laughs> Don't say Don't <laughs> get really close to me and go, oh. <laughs> it's really funny because everything's close up so it looks like you don't have a nose. It's just eyes and a little mouth. Thank you. We've completely gone off track. I've ruined your channel. <laughs> you haven't ruined it. People ask for you. One person asked one time. Yeah, but that's nice, isn't it? This is for you, Miss Pian Miss Miss Pianist? Pianist. Like pianist. Pia like they play the piano. That's a pianist. Oh. <laughs> I am not a person who has played the, I've played the keyboard. Moving on to, I keep sinking down in the couch. Come on, move over because you're off to one side. It looks like I don't like you. <laughs> I'll move over at one side because you're getting up the big piece. So, moving on to new things. I have bought myself a few new things this month. Um, first of all, is this. I'm so happy with this. I didn't mean to find this at all. I can't remember how I found it. I was just like Probably just doing a search. Up. I think I was looking on World of Books. Yeah. And I just was looking for cross stitch books and I came across this and it didn't have any pictures. So I like searched for it and there was a YouTube video um, sh like doing a flip through. And I was just obsessed. Like I was already, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little cat in a pumpkin. I was convinced to buy the book from that from alone. Literally just, oh, and there's a chicken with like eggs. I like, I oh, like yeah. that chicken I like with the eggs. Duck. It's a cute duck. So this, oh, there's a bit from fabric in there. That's, it's mine. It didn't come like that. Um, so this is from 1999. So it's two years before I was born. Yeah, before this I was came born. Out. And it's like, it's just so beautiful. Let me show you. So these are some of the flowers in it, like when you first open it. And obviously it's got the charts in as well, but I'm not going to show them. And it just has loads of different sections. I was, there was a, like a model in there. And I was like, what do you think they're doing now? What do you think those people are doing there? I think they're still stitching. Crap. I don't it. think they were ever stitching. They were just in pictures. If so you appeared in 2001 cross stitch designs designs right in so it's got like uh different chapters in it for the different types of stitches yeah so it's like um different categories isn't it i would i would say different categories yeah so it's florals for the little ones so they're like nursery or like what, the nursery rhymes yeah yeah like, nursery rhymes kids like story yeah thing. that yeah, type yeah. thing um Symbols of love, so that's all like hearts and like there is wedding stuff, but I think that comes later in it. Uh, Christmas fun, Santas and snowmen, that is personally my favorite. I will be stitching a lot of those, so keep an eye out because I have already started on my Christmas prep for 2022. <laughs> but there is, there's like, oh, I have to get them out because it keeps you out of trouble, doesn't it? I love these Santas, I have to show you. I just think they're the funniest thing, and I I don't know why. It's not funny, but it is to me. Christmas borders. Imagine your old, old Saint Nick, Chris Kringle. Come on YouTube, busy year. You're like, oh, I'm gonna watch some floss tube and this one. No, yeah. I love it. I love it. It's not an insult at all, but those little star Santas, I just love them so much. I think they're the cutest thing ever. And I'm, what? I knocked my torch and it like under it. <laughs> it wasn't flattering. I'm definitely going to be stitching a few of these, so keep an eye out because this book is going to be used all the time. So, what other sections are there? There's Santas and Snowmen, then there's Borders and Patterns, Country Patterns, Americana, which I love, Year Round Holidays, Nature Designs, I thought it said Mature Designs. I thought it said nature delights. <laughs> I need my glasses. Animals, alphabets and numbers, and sports, professions, and pastimes. So this book is absolutely packed. Like it's it's got literally two thousand one designs in it. So I will be using this a lot throughout this year. So 
yes if if you can find this anywhere please buy it because i am obsessed and i've seen quite a lot of other people as well say that they really like this book and it's a really good reference book for them other books are available other books are available but i personally like this one you have to stay impartial like the bbc what else new have we got i kind of talked about it earlier cryptid self i've been binge watching bendy stitchy michelle g love her Shout and out. well she doesn't need a shower she's like amazing but bigger than us she, bigger than yeah you. like nearly she's over nine times bigger than i is am this a, is this an us because i've just appeared for yeah this isn't us now that ryan will probably be featuring more on my channel now that he's stitching so michelle g bendy stitchy was doing the cryptid style and i like I binge watched her videos but I kind of watched them out of order so they would appear in some videos but not all of them and then I just like when my floss tube Instagram I don't know if that's got its own name but floss tube on Instagram um started growing and I started following more people I was seeing so many people doing them and I was like I know who would love this this guy he has done a course in cryptozoology so he knows a lot about cryptids I would say. I know my boogeyman. You do. So I I saw this kind of floating around and I was really excited about it. And I was like waiting for payday. I was like, as soon as I get paid, Ryan's getting a treat. And they just so happened. I'm pretty sure I got paid. And then the day after was supposed to be the, the last one was released. Mm. So I got paid. So basically I got paid, bought it like under Ryan's name and everything. And Ryan will be stitching it. You have the patterns, don't you? Yes, I have the power. Uh, it's very exciting, actually. I'm pretty sure on the last... Because I'm in the Witchy Stitcher Facebook group. Are you as well? Yes. So on the last day when the last one got released, spoiler alert, there was multiple. So you can pick from them. And I'm pretty sure you've already picked which one you want, even oh, though yeah. you've not started yet. No, so, I, I know which one I want. I don't want on my pattern. Yeah. And then fitting in with that, I've got my... My cowboy crusty. Oh, I hadn't finished talking about that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I was just going to say really quick. So I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have to buy one of the cones of the 310. The probably. black DMC die. Um, because, I mean, Cone of Doom was like the little mascot, which I think is really cute. But I'm I'm pretty sure you're going to need it for all of the black on that. Oh, yeah, there is a lot of black work, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Oh, not black work. There black. is a lot of black stitching. Colour. Yes. Yeah. So, another new piece, what have you bought? A cowboy cross stitch, and I'll get you to insert a picture because I'm still not very good at describing things. I'll put it over my face. Put it over my face? No, you're talking. I don't know what else to talk about. <sighs> this is why I need like interview structure, I don't know how to do these things. Well you just, you like it don't you? You find yeah. it on Etsy. Yeah, um, I'll get you to link the seller. Yeah, I will link, I'll link the actual pattern down below if I can find it. Um, I really like a lot of the designs by this like person. I, I cannot remember the name at the Should minute. I look at it. Up? Yeah. I don't know um, so I really like a lot of the patterns by this, this individual. Night Spirit Studio. Night Spirit Studio. That's who did the pattern. So we, I, I'd already been through like a couple months ago and liked a lot of their patterns on Etsy, and then completely unrelated, you were looking the other night, weren't you? Yeah. And he found this cowboy one and was just obsessed. I wanted a Red Dead cross stitch, so a bit of a stretch, but if anyone knows of anywhere that sells them. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, that would be mm -hmm. most appreciated. Is that right if I plug that? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. You can ask questions. Most ask appreciated. Questions. Um, so we went out, Ry bought it, and then we went out like the next day or the day yeah, after. Next day and went and like kitted it all up and everything but we've already lost the fabric for it it's in our room somewhere but our room at the minute we did is, a reshuffle didn't we yeah our room at the minute is our bedroom uh your all of ryan's like books are in there and you're a big reader aren't you yeah it's basically a library at the minute it's it's an office as well because it's got all of my cross stitching and knitting and everything in it so it's basically my craft room and our bedroom yeah um hopefully at some point when we move out we will have separate rooms so like craft room and bedroom but at the minute they're combined so it is with the craft stuff yeah we just don't know where but it's fine because ryan's monogamous, monogamous 
actively stitching right now. I'm gonna so. say the end of there. Ryan's monogamous. <laughs> Ryan's monogamously stitching right now, so he's gonna finish the otters before I move on to something else. Can't relate at all. But um, yeah, that's his plan, and he will probably be in future videos, so you will see his progress on that as well. Um, are you gonna make a cross stitch Instagram? I might. If Ryan makes a cross stitch Instagram, it'll be linked down below, and I will tag him on my Instagram. So, other new things that I have bought. I bought myself, uh, just, I'm just reading so I don't get it wrong, just cross stitch magazine from June 2021. I think it's got like, um, like a seed packet or something on the front, like, I'm pretty sure. Something been raptured. I don't know what's happening. So, there's like, I think tomato seeds, like, a tomato -y design, I don't know, it's really cute, so I bought the magazine and i'm pretty sure i think i got it because there's a fisherman design and rice oh, yeah. dad does fishing so i i bought it to do that and then i've also bought the just cross stitch christmas ornaments i don't know what year it is or if there's different Not ones sure. for different years but i'm planning on doing a lot of christmas stitching this year and they're all like small pieces so i can kind of do them when i need a break from my big pieces um, and then I also bought World of Cross Stitch, June 2021. Oh, June 2021 was a good year for magazines, wasn't it? Because good month, as well. good month, our daughter's birthday. So I bought that magazine because it's got a big Wallace and Gromit um, design in it, and our daughter, daughter. right now. No, I was gonna it's between daughter and child. Our daughter right now is obsessed with Wallace and Gromit. You're gonna get banned from them. <laughs> she she loves it. She watches it all the time. So well, not all the time, but she stop. Oh, He's copying my hand motions. So yes, I bought it to do that for her. I don't actually know what else is in the magazine. I didn't really look, but I'm very excited to do it. And pocket mags, which is Come where I pocket mags, which is where I bought um, the back copies, the back issues. They have like a sale on at the minute, so everything was 99p for me to buy. So I just thought that was a really good deal. So let's move on to some finished projects because, oh my god, for the first time in over a year? Yeah. Nearly a year, nearly a year. I've had a finished piece. Woo! It's not framed, it's not fully, fully done, but it's done stitching. So I have two actually, which is unheard of. Um. So I have this little 101 Christmas minis, uh, it's book two, uh, I bought this on Amazon I believe quite a while ago, it was like when we first moved into this house, so three years ago I bought this, Yeah. and to be honest I hadn't done anything out of it, I just kind of forgot about it, um, I picked it up the other day because with that 2001 cross stitch designs, what I want to do is make a lot of little designs that I can put on cards, I'll give to my nan to put on her cards. But I also kind of want to make uh, one big piece out of all of the little pieces that I really like. Like a collage. Yeah, like a collage. So whilst I was waiting for the book to arrive, I pulled out that uh, Christmas minis book and finished, oh that one's done the wrong way, and finished these. So yeah, Santa and a lamppost. I did mess up on the lamppost on the bow a little bit, so that's not exactly how it's supposed to look. But again, I just used this, um, where's it gone? Embroidery thread. I used this box of floss that my cousin bought me. So Bob, if you're watching, thank you very much. Uh, and I didn't use the exact right colors, but I think they still look pretty good. And my plan is now, once I've shown you guys in this video, I'm going to give them to my nan and she can use them on her Christmas cards. So I just think that's a really that's nice little cool. touch. And as well, like, I don't use material like fabric, like, generally smaller than 25 count. Smaller. I mean, like, like, I don't use anywhere from 14 to 20... Five count. Like, I will use 25 count or 28 count generally. So for these pieces, I just pulled out some scrap like fabric that I had 
left over from when I used to do smaller pieces uh, and I was just working on scrap fabric so it was like not fabric like not a new pack I hadn't bought it special um but I think they turned out really nice oh. yeah I think I think they turned out really lovely and I really like how my stitches looked on this uh account as well so in the future I might have to invest in doing some yeah some bigger pieces well not bigger pieces some big account I, I think it's small account yeah. because Count's confusing. Yeah, count, count it's confusing. So yes, I I love these and I'm planning on doing some more. So two finished pieces. Woo! Now, last thing, last thing is our February goals. So my goals are very different from Ryan's goals for February. Um, in February, okay, we have your birthday. Yep. Valentine's Day, yep. my nan's birthday, my mom's birthday, my auntie's birthday. Good month for birthdays. Good month for birthdays. So is January. January is a good month for birthdays too. And on top of that, we are also going away for the weekend next weekend. So like yeah. Sunday, Monday and coming back Tuesday. Driving down a week today. Yeah, it's going to be mad. So yeah, we're going to have kind of like we're going to have time off to stitch but we're also going to be traveling so like like in the hotels we're going to take stitching yeah. but it won't be as much free time as if we just had the day off work yeah. do you know what i mean so my goals for february i'll start with whip go so i believe the numbers five and 17 got called um where's my other book here it is let me just check so the numbers five and 17 got called and for me, that was to do 700 stitches on Shelf Life and 3,000 stitches on Wonderful World Map. So hopefully by the end of February, if I stick to my whip goal goals, Wonderful World Map will be double what it is now. Mm. Hopefully. And Shelf Life will have another 700 stitches on it. So that's my first goal. And also, I didn't actually finish my whip go goal for january how bad is that that's the first month that i didn't do it i did some of it i did some of the stitches i needed to on guardians of fuji but it wasn't quite all of them so i will be adding to it it's been a busy month in fact it, it has i started two thirds of the way through the month yeah. it's been a very busy month and i've had a lot going on with work as well so it's, it's been, been a bit of a hectic one hasn't it? yeah and i will catch up on guardians of fuji i just don't know when mm. but hopefully it will be in february Hopefully. Uh, another goal of mine is to finish following spirits. I'm hoping to get that done for Valentine's Day or for your birthday. Which would you rather have it for? I was thinking Whichever. your birthday. Whichever works. His birthday's the 11th, Valentine's Day is the 14th. So like, at some point then yep. it will be finished. Yep. What else? Oh, I've been seeing, again, binge watching Bendy Stitchy. She has been doing the temperature cell on like the bookshelf. And at first I was like, oh, I don't really want to add more to like my goals for this mm. year, my plans for this year. And then the more I see it, the more I'm like, that would be really cool because this year is probably one of the biggest years for us. Yeah, we, interesting year. Yeah, I turned 21, that already happened, but I turned 21. Our daughter's turning three. We're getting married. Mm -hmm. It's it's a busy year, so I feel like I should do something to celebrate twenty twenty two. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent decided on that yet. But that might be something that I start this month. I want to say thank you to everyone who commented on my last video, helping me with like designing charts and where to upload charts and everything like that. Um, I'm pretty convinced that I'm just going to start doing it. Yeah. I'm very excited. I've got some plans and hopefully, hopefully this month I'll be able to start just messing about with it. I'm That's very good. excited. And then the last goal that we have for this month, you're going to start on yourself? Yeah, hopefully. So if you finish... Are you going to start on your salary? Are you going to start on... I don't know yet. Say I'll tell to finish these. Okay. I could do... I could work on both of them at the same time. You could, but we don't have the 
proper called the floss for the cell. That's very true. So cool. maybe maybe your eyes can start in the cowboy then. Yeah, and then I'll get the floss and the as and when mm -hmm. for the cell. To find so, the material for the cowboy as well. Yeah. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> I'll look on Etsy, there's some really nice um, custom dyed fabrics. That might I'll, look nice. I'll look after this video. I've got a needle minder coming as well. You do. So, Rai's goal for February is to finish the otters yep. and start, start your cowboy. Very much so. So I think that sounds like good goals. Rai, Rai's literally started stitching the last couple of weeks, so Not I'm very even, proud of him. Was it last week, wasn't it? Yeah, last week. I'm very, very proud of him. He's been doing amazing and he like just does it without me saying anything. I thought I'd kind of have to be like, come on, do your stitching. Like nag you a little bit, but he's like enjoying it. Yeah, what I usually do is go on the Xbox for a bit so I can get some some time in being a fake cowboy or Star Wars, and then I'm really ba I'm back into that. Yeah. And then I'll do some stitching before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I do it a lot, like a long time, but no, maybe My, like an hour. I would time. say it's not your main hobby, but it's a new hobby that you're very interested in. Don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. I, I can still get headaches off these. Yeah. I've already decided that um, he's going to help me with some of my projects. Yeah. So once he's a bit more used to it, um, because my count is 28 count and he's using 14 at the minute, once he's a bit more used to it and tries it out on my count, he's going to help me with some of mine. And then they might get done faster. I mean, I might just mess them up. We'll see. No, you won't mess them up. I've got confidence in it. And I, I'm going to get you Pattern Keeper as well. I have Pattern Keeper, I just don't know how to use it yet. Oh, okay. So I think that's everything. We've been filming for 30... 40 nearly 40 minutes, minutes yeah. yeah. So is there anything else you want to say? Um, I don't have any final pearls of wisdom to impart. Right, usually when I'm filming you can probably hear there's like noises in the house, but we are in a different location where like, I usually film over there, we're now over here. And something is happening upstairs. My mum has Bella. Yeah, and the dog. So, and the dog. So, so maybe it's like a They're probably playing, but it's, it's like loud. It sounds like they're coming through the floor. So if you've heard that, that's what it is. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, my Instagram is always in one of the bottom corners, starting from like last video. Ryan's Instagram will be down below. Go follow him because he is very new and I'm very proud of him. I'm like a little baby to the world of CrossFit. You are. You're, you're a newbie. We will, um, I did have a comment last week. It was like this week I got the comment but I'm not sure what video it was on. Uh, and it was someone saying that they really enjoyed the stitch with me that I did. For some reason the comments in that video got turned off and then back on. Yeah. So I'm not sure what happened with that but um, I will be doing more stitch with me's. Uh, we're looking for like a Probably camera setup. I was gonna. I was literally about to lead into that. We're looking for a new camera setup because like filming the actual stitching is a little bit difficult. But you might join me. I might. What I would really like to do, and I kind of like, I replied to one comment. So if you've seen the comment, you know what I'm talking about. But I've been like thinking about doing live streams, like stitch with me live streams. But do that I need to so I'm so sorry they're like galloping they must be galloping like being horses or something must be. but um I need to buy like a different tripod because the one we have at the minute will like point forwards or yeah, like we can angle it my but, photography tripod so yeah. it's not designed for videography but what I, boom maybe yeah what I would really like is one of the ones that kind of you can like attach it to your table and it faces downwards so yeah, if you'd like to be in like live streams, if you'd like it, if we live streamed, let us know. Um, we need to buy the equipment yeah. first, but so it won't the be boom. like urgent. But I'm hoping we can do that because I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think so too. I think so, definitely. So yeah, if there's any tips or suggestions for Rye, let me know in the comments down below. You, if if people like you, will be in future videos. If they don't like me i'll probably never show my face on this channel again people like you so thank you guys very much for watching we have enjoyed filming it's been different because i usually film on my own and yeah, i usually get 
I, yeah, I was like, right, go, go away. I need to film. I need, I need to do it without distractions. I will definitely see you in next week's video. You maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Depends how the audience reacts. Well, it also depends how much stitching you get done. That's so you don't want to be true. talking if you've only done like 10 stitches. Not that I think that's what you'll do. But I did all a different colour last night, but I don't know how many stitches that is. Yeah. I'd say a couple hundred. Maybe not a couple hundred, maybe yeah. a hundred. Who knows? So, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good time stitching. Have a great February. This video will be going out in February now. Yeah. Yeah. This video will be the first video in February. And yeah. Be a good person. Be a good person. That's a good yeah. sign-off. That's good, good advice for life. <laughs> Bye!